Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's happening? What's happening? What's going? Mike Rich, man, what's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every day, one of y'all is having a bliss day today, man. Today, some Ear Jordans, man. Some early Ear Jordans. Here you talking about, man. This shoe is one that was on my list, I will say. This is one that was on my list. I don't know why, because I got similar shoes, and then that's why I got rid of one of the last retros that was similar to this. But this is the color blocking that is just, you know... It's one of my favorite color blockings on the Air Jordan. Let's go ahead and get into it. As you can tell with the box already, you're already going to know what this shoe is. You're probably going to know what it is once you see the thumbnail. But, um, and a lot of people have early reviews of this shoe up already. So, if you're not super early, you ain't early. And if you on time, you ass late. You feel me? The Nike box with the golden shimmers. I don't know where they got the gold from. I don't know. I haven't did any, like, reading up behind the, uh, the shoe. Like, the inspiration for the shoe or anything like that. But it has gold Nike. And, you know, that shimmery metallic gold, which is nowhere on the actual shoe. Uh, the official name is Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Official colorway is black, metallic gold, and palomino. I don't see no damn metallic gold on this shoe, except for the box. And that's in the name, black metallic gold. I'm thinking the palomino is the brown, I guess. I guess it is. Uh, anyway, here we go. Here we go. With the whole Jordan 1 hype kind of like going down and stuff like that, I still feel like this shoe it's gonna be a hit, man. It's gonna be a hit, man. You feel me? <laughs> Air Jordan 1 OG High Palomino. Hell is you saying? So this is the Air Jordan 1 OG High Palomino. Um, I don't even know what the hell Palomino means. I'm thinking it's that brown color. That's the only thing I can think is the brown color. I don't know where they got got that from. Whatever. Nike always want to you know do their best to call things different colors every single time. Even though we've got uh, different iterations of this brown already. Quick review because I showed it on my sneaker kind video and it's also a very simple shoe. It's no need to be really crazy on the review. I'm just going to compare it to the other shoes that's like it and, you know, beg the question, do I really need it like I always do. So it has that brown um, new book going or Durabook or whatever that is. Uh, black Jordan Jumpman logo. Got the brown swoosh. Black upper. Basically the bread colorway. You got your brown Palomino color on the toe. Uh, bread color blocking. I'm sorry, not bread colorway. Bread color blocking going on right here. Same as the shadows. Same as the royals stuff like that it's just the black and it's that other color but we actually have and every time they give us this kind of that's what i'm saying it's so similar because every time they give us i'm back hurting man gotta let the seat up a little bit oh that's better um every time we get this brown shade any kind of brown shade like this on a jordan one we also get the cream on the midsole they always match that brown up with like a um a off-white or a cream or Vintage eggshell, whatever you want to call it, on the midsole. Sale. Yeah, that's what. I'm surprised sale wasn't on the. Uh, what's sale on the box? Anyway, you. I guess this. This. This ain't metallic gold, but I guess if we talk about the colorway, this would be the closest thing to a metallic gold. It's really like a a light cr uh, um, cream looking. It's like a vintage color. That's that's exactly what it looks like to me. Um, maybe that's the Palomino. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's you got that color on there man the same thing is on the inside so I guess that is the metallic gold because on the inside it actually is a shimmery finish to it it's actually like more like a metallic gold 
don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, that's more like a metallic gold. Um, shout out to He Got Kicks, a.k.a. Uh, Forrest for sending me these, man. Shout out to my boy, He Got Kicks with a Z. Y'all check his YouTube channel out. He get, gets a lot of fire shoes early and dope content and YouTube things and going on. So these are dope, man. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of these. There's the other shoe right there. I just show both shoes. It's like, they look the same. It's the same shoe. Left foot, right foot, punch. Hear you saying. But I want to, um, so I don't have, I don't have a pair of, what you call these shoes? Mochas. Is it Mocha? Are these called Mocha? <laughs> it's been so long, man. Are these Mochas? These are Mochas right here, right? I don't have a pair of these. This is my wife's pair. Uh, I sold my pair that I did have. So this is the Mochas against the um, Palominos and the Browns are different, you know. Slightly, it's more of a. I don't know. It's more of a chocolate, like a candy chocolate, and this is more of a like a milk chocolate, like chocolate milk. I don't know. I'm I'm just saying stuff at this point, but very similar shoes, regardless of what uh, Palominos and uh, Mocha Air Jordan ones. So and I also have to compare. This is the reason why I didn't keep my Mochas because I didn't want so many Mocha shoes. So I didn't keep my Mocha Jordan ones because I had. Uh, OG Travs, shout out to my wife buying these for me for Christmas a few years ago. OG, Travis Scott, guys. I don't wear these a lot of times, bro. Like, this is probably, as far as, like, shoes that are expensive in my collection, this is probably my most worn as far as the, like, the expensive shoes in my collection. But those are the Travis's big-ass size 12. My shoe is bigger than these Mocha's and, and, <laughs> and these Palomino's. Um, browns, like I said, this brown on, this brown on the Travis is just really similar to the brown on, and it's still different. All the browns are actually different. So this mocha is actually a lot different. It's a lot more darker and textured and suede on the Travis's than the, uh, mochas. And as far as texture is concerned, the same thing with these. It's a little bit more smoother. It's probably actually closer to this mocha. I don't know. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think, man. But I didn't want to have a bunch of mocha shoes in my uh, collection. I think the reason I'm still going to go after these Palomino Jordan ones is because it has that bread color blocking. It's mostly black. This one right here still has a lot of that cell color on it. So, you know what I'm saying? All on the tongue. You know what I'm saying? Got the red on the tongue. Got, you know what I'm saying? It's just the... I can't have this one and the mocha at the same time because it's very similar. But I think the differences are... It's that out enough for you to drip a little bit different with the... Uh, Mocha against the Palomino Air Jordan 1. So I think I'm still going to go after the Palomino Air Jordan 1. This shoe drops September 2nd. Retail price is $180. Y'all comment below. If y'all are going after these, man, I'm going to try to get a pair for retail. With the with the hype of Jordan 1's going down, though, I feel like it won't be that hard to grab a pair of these. I feel like it won't be that hard. Was the blacks, was the bottom brown on these? Yeah, the bottoms are brown on all of them. And you can really tell the shade difference. This is the Travis, this is the Palomino, and that's the Mocha. Mocha got black. Is that a black bottom? The Mocha got black bottoms. I think I'm my first time realizing that. So Travis has got dark brown bottoms. Palomino's got that light brown. And then the uh, Mocha guys actually got the black bottoms. Is that black? I'm trying to... Looks black to me. Um, so anyway, y'all, like I said, y'all come below. Y'all going after the Palomino Air Jordan 1s. Y'all like them? Dislike them. I think they fire. These would have came out a few years ago. Especially like when bread, all the bread colorways and stuff was dropping, man. People went crazy. Resale prices, all this stuff. I don't know what resale is for these now, but I don't think they're going to be too hard to get. Y'all comment below what y'all think about that. Anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. Hell is you saying? And keep watching my video because this what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I cop to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon on them. Hey.